now start temp i am assigning to the start after that what we have to do in temp dot next what we have to do now start value will be as what 2 so now start is referring this one not this one okay it is referring this node okay as part of the java these are all java basics okay now start is here after that what we have to do in start dot next which value i have to put i have to put this queue then only it will form this organized data structure right so it will be as one here 99 i have to put so here it will be as null here in start dot next next means the jvm will point this particular field here what i have to put q i have to q i have to put why q q value is currently one so so it will be as one is that forming a linked list data structure or not which is a well defined one of course it is forming right try to understand it so in next statement will be as star dot next i am just assigning q okay okay it is very good okay now what is the case for this one so this thing has been finished we have covered this scenario by using if statement that is if block and this one we have covered with this piece of code okay now coming to this scenario so this entire code now is going to get changed we have to write the code that should be only once and that should be applicable for all the scenarios then only it is said to be an efficient one try to understand now so think that we are having two nodes these two nodes are there now think that we are having thousand nodes here as i said earlier okay i'm developing for you this one okay thousand nodes are there okay now what is the case now how we have to do this one it is also very important right now you are inserting a node with data that is now the x value will be as triple nine okay so we have to check with each and every node which is available already in the memory if that particular inserting node data is less than the particular node then that node should come prior to the already existing node let me put it if my x value will be as what here 99 so if the inserting node so think that now this is start right now temp has been gone okay is a local variable right think that it is gone and here it is like start okay it's a new scenario guys try to understand it now this is the new scenario here there is a node with data triple nine okay and this is temp it is referred with temp having the reference as three and it is null okay now so think that we are having thousand nodes okay now we have to iterate and this uh, is referred with x local primitive variable and an identifier now so this is the case now i have to traverse to each and every node i have to check it so in case if i pass here as one instead of double line think that if I pass 1 or if I pass 18 so even that case we are going to cover here 18 is there that is inserting a node in the between I mean in between two nodes which are already existing in the memory that is also one of the scenario right now try to understand this one clearly so we don't know there will be n number of nodes in the memory right so you have inserted 100 nodes and you are going to insert the 101 or I mean like I mean you have inserted 200 nodes and you are going to insert 200 and first node okay 201 uh, that is like uh, after 200 nodes you are inserting one more node so we don't know where that particular node should come and insert because it should be in ascending order right it should be in ascending order you have inserted the nodes in numeric scale way like i mean first node value is like one and second node value is two and the 200th node data i mean data is like 200 now you are inserting a node with data as 1.5 how how we should get insert or like i mean like 99.5 how we should get insert or 99.9 .9. so it should get insert in between 99 and 100 right 
so in that way we have to write the code so why is that code is going to work properly no it is not a generalized code so what we have to do we have to modify this one once again how we can do that one let us see so the same logic the same thing we are going to use the same concept but a little bit style a little bit shining will be there for this code that's it no need to worry now just take it off so what i'm going to do here is as a wise person as a technical person okay now i will take one iterative statement now q okay let it be what we have to do here okay let it be these all stories i have explained in uh, time of creating i mean at the time of creating doubly linked list create operation what the statement we have to take here how we are taking that one because at the last node of the singly linked list the next field will be as null so based on that property we are writing one condition here so that will be as q is not equal to null okay if you are not getting this one go and watch that session okay now so to iterate all the nodes what i am going to do here q equal to q dot next next value i am assigning to q so currently let us think that q value is at 2 okay as a fresh one okay now and this while loop here guys try to focus it will get finished as soon as possible but try to focus to get the concept okay don't try to get anything concept the same code you can develop in other way also that is what an analysis if you are good in analysis you can get the logic immediately on spot you can get it you can feel very comfort in the interviewer room that is what my main intention of this session now you just take this one you have to check it if q dot i is so now what is the value of x as part of this one as part of this insertion i mean inserting node so x value is triple nine now what will be the q value q value is two okay so this is i value right how this one is i value at the time of creation i, I was taking one class like this in doubly linked list try to understand that one now q dot i means what nine if q dot i is greater than x that is this x if that one is the case what i have to do or else you can take even less than also okay for your sake i am taking less than now if it is like less than what okay no need to disturb anything so it is in the sorting order so this first node should or must come before this particular node it is correct right so what we have to do you just take one semicolon so without any curly braces you i mean there must be one declarative state i mean uh, there can be i mean you can take only one statement that should not i mean should not be as the declarative statement so that's why to convince the compiler i am taking the semicolon now in the else part what i am going to do here is if q1 dot i is less than x so now what is the q value it is 2 what is q 2 dot i is 9 9 is less than triple nine. of course it is true it won't do anything now it will come here so if else block is getting execute means sorry if, if block is getting execute means else block will not get to execute anything so here there, there are no statement so nothing to worry it is not going to perform any changes to the nodes in the memory by the jvm in a such a way we are writing the code that is an understandable one to the jvm now in else part what we have to do let me tell clearly now what is q dot next two dot next is what one one i am assigning to q now what is q dot i what is q dot i it is double line double line is less than this x value of course it is less than so don't do anything so come out of that one now what is q dot next q dot next is null okay now it is not equal to null is that true it is false it will come out of the while loop okay it is good we are inserting it gives the meaning that we are inserting a particular node which is always uh, or which is greater than all the nodes which are priorly available in the memory so 99 should be as a last node so i am intimating i am writing a particular instructions that should be an understandable one to the jvm so that particular x value with 99 should be as the last node how i can do that one 
it's so simple you just take one statement here if q equal to equal to null okay if q equal to equal to null what i have to do here now guys try to understand no need to mug up anything so do we have the last node which is currently available in the memory so for your sake i am just writing one node okay let it be here now q value will be as null it is pointing somewhere here after thousand nodes thousand one i mean a thousand i mean thousand one node is what here it is nothing so now q will be here which is null no nodes here so it will be as null it will jump away from that particular memory i mean a memory block so there is no node so it will be as null right now so what i'm going to do here as a voice programmer it is the programmer trick if you want any identifier value for future use what you have to do you have to declare one more identifier that is a local identifier to store the value of that particular changing identifier it is the pure analyzer and algorithm writer trick try to put this in your brain and one more thing is all the numeric values by default available to the interpreters that is also very important okay now so what i am going to do here is i am going to define one more local variable of type test which is q1 and let me put some default values like null so for each and every iteration what i am going to do here is just copy q value to q1 try to understand this one so before q value becoming as null what will be the value of q1 here definitely it will be as 1 try to understand it let me do for you a small analysis okay now currently the q value will be as from the first let us come from the beginning it will be as 2 right so q is not equal to null q1 value will be as 2 and q1 dot i that is 9 is less than this one right of course it is 2 so this particular q pointed node must be according uh, that should get occur prior to this inserting node try to understand it's very important then next if it is the case what we are doing here i just took one semicolon meaning that i am convincing the compiler and at runtime i am doing nothing no operations okay which should get performed by the jvm now it will come out of this one this statement will get execute what is q dot next now two dot next is what one one i am assigning to q okay try to just uh, concentrate on this it's very important now the control will come here what is the q value it is one one is not equal to null of course it is true now q value will get assigned to q1 now it will be as one so what is q dot i that is one dot i is this is i okay try to focus it's very important guys 99 is less than triple nine so what we are doing here we are doing nothing we took just semicolon now it will come out of that one and q dot next is what null null i'm assigning to q okay now what is happening here it will come here it will become false it will come out of the loop so now what is the value of q it is null what is the meaning of q equal to equal to null means i have reached the end of the nodes i am at after the end node that is after the end node jvm so please do this set of instructions like that i am intimating to the jvm now what is we want the last node reference where is the last node reference it is available at with q1 that is the local identifier if i am going to disturb any local identifier what i have to do i have to store that particular identifier value with other identifier for future use okay 